as I've talked to many customers here uh, since I joined VMware, you know, many of you like this concept, you like the use cases, and what you can do with it. You're sort of trying to figure out, you know, how do I get started with this, and how do I operationalize this, deploy this in my environment? And so what we thought we'd do here is to walk you through that experience from soup to nuts, from start to finish. And to do that, I'd like to welcome Jacob Rapp. Hi, Rajiv. Welcome, Jacob. Thanks. Jacob leads our uh, technical product management team here with NSX. And so what are you going to walk them to? Sure. So first off, we're, customers are telling us they're understanding the benefit of micro-segmentation and what NSX brings. But they're still struggling with going from their current unsecured infrastructure to one secured by micro-segmentation. So we've identified four simple steps to help them with that process. Assess, um, plan, enforce, and monitor. So first of all, even before you get NSX installed in your environment, you can get a free pre-assessment report from a tool called vRealize Network Insight, where we can analyze the traffic patterns to show what benefit micro-segmentation can bring in your actual environment, all delivered in a really simple pre-assessment report. Very cool. So all of you can just run this free tool and get a sense of how protected or not your current infrastructure is. So from the report, you can decide your next steps. So let's talk about how they can go to the next journey, the next step in that journey, and, and start doing the planning process. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the first step, we've got to get NSX installed, of course. So from there, uh, we'll, we're going to be showing a early tech preview of our planning tool built directly into the NSX UI within the vSphere web client. The core concept of planning is to actually capture all the data mm -hmm. so that we can analyze it and create our micro-segmentation plan. So here we have an SAP app we've already collected the flows for. So let's analyze. So in real time, you can see that the flows are going to get collapsed into traffic patterns. And then from there, we can group them into common security groups. So we end up with a very simple security policy for our app. And then from there, we can actually visualize that plan in what we call an application map, made up of virtual machines, the security groups we just created, and the communication flow between them. And Rajiv, that becomes our micro-segmentation plan. So really cool. So NSX, once you deploy it, will automatically come out and figure out what the rules are that you need to then deploy. So the next step, of course, is getting it enforced. How do we do that? Yeah, Rajiv, that's actually a really simple part. We click on Create New Rules, and the plan gets moved over to our Firewall tab, where from there, it'll actually get deployed directly down into our distributed firewall, and then our app secured. So it's as simple as that. Just a simple push button click, and you're done. Yeah, really, Rules that's are it. enforced. Your network is secure. Yeah. Very cool. So now you guys have all deployed this, and then the question is, how do you monitor what's going on? How do you troubleshoot that? So Jacob, let's walk through that. Sure. So let's actually dive into the tool we talked about earlier for our pre-assessment, vRealize Network Insight. So one of the common troubleshooting challenges we hear is that looking for a particular security rule is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. So we created a simple Google Lite search experience, but we'll look in all of our infrastructure, not just the virtual, but also down into the physical. So as we can see from our search results, we've found our rule from not only our distributed firewall, but also from one of our partner physical firewall devices. We found that needle. The next scenario uh, for troubleshooting that we hear is looking at the communication patterns from one virtual machine to another. So in this scenario, visibility is really the key element. So with vRealize Network Insight, we can combine all the data sources from our physical and our virtual all in one place. So we can create this really nice end-to-end -end path from our virtual machines down through the NSX components and into our physical architectures, our routers, our switchers, and our physical devices to give the exact end-to-end -end path. That's really cool. Thank you so much, Jacob. Yeah, Thanks thank for you. This. Thanks for walking us through this. That was pretty powerful. You know, you've seen this end-to-end -end deployment for micro-segmentation, and you've seen how we're trying to simplify this, make it easy for you to deploy, make it easy for you to troubleshoot and monitor it. So let's look at you know, the future in terms of where you guys are going. Now, as you look at the future, you know, a lot of things aren't changing. You're still concerned about making sure that your apps run securely. 
they're always available. And you need to be able to deliver applications quickly. So those things haven't really changed. But lots of other things are changing around you, right? Your infrastructure is changing. Your architecture, your application architectures are changing. User behavior, security threats are constantly evolving. You may be running your applications on a private cloud. You may be running them on a public cloud. And likely, you're probably doing both. Some of the newer applications that your developers are building may be built on top of container frameworks, as, as Kit mentioned before. Regardless of where you're running your application and how you're running those applications, NSX is with you to help you manage, to help you speed up, and help you secure those applications. That's the vision for NSX.